Warning, small disclaimer, this is a non-profit video used for education. As stated by YouTube's copyright, all music not owned will be credited in the description. We repeat, this is a non-profit video. We hope you enjoy and thank you for your time. Hi, we, Hi. we're all done. Hey. Yeah, we're done. We're stress-free. So we stress -free. We're all are proud. Isa, what do you think? Yeah. Isa, answer me. No? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh well, we're all happy, so hope you guys enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I'm ecstatic, guys. We're okay, all ecstatic. So Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. We love you. Peace, work. love, and happiness. Bye. No. On a tranquil autumn, on September 17th, Isabella and Jasmine were walking in the forest. But then suddenly, Jasmine got hit by a book. This is Alexander Hamilton, a Federalist. He was the man who created the Federalist Party. So were you heading off to the well, actually, I'm heading off to the ice cream pot. It was obvious Hamilton was lying. Who said that? Well, you caught me. Actually, I'm gonna go meet John James and James Madison at the Federalist the Federalist Papers to show those anti-Federalists who is bossing. There's Thomas Jefferson. Why would you search for that son? Strong Government Party, mostly made up of founding fathers. Some Federalists include Hamilton, George Washington, and Benjamin Franklin. These fathers believe in strong national government. Their greatest enemy, anti-federalist. Why was she seeking that stuff? Oh, Hamilton, you were just speaking about me. Thomas Jefferson, he is one of the biggest anti-federalists. He basically missed the late 80s. He traveled to France as an ambassador and came back in the in 1789. There were lots of other anti-federalists, but he was well known. Anti-federalists believed in a weak national government. They were too frightened to allow a government to overpower them. They didn't agree one bit with the federalists. The Anti-Federalist and Federalist Paper Where's Hamilton and Jefferson? And where's Issa? Hello Jasmine, right now Hamilton's supposed to be in his office writing 51 essays for the Federalist Papers which contain reasons on why they need a strong national government Hmm, that was surprising Jefferson Oh, he's probably in France right now well, what about the rest of the anti-federalists? Well, Jefferson is the, isn't the only one silly. There's John Hancock, Samuel Adams, and Patrick Henry. Ooh, Samuel Adams and Hamilton are fighting. I should go check it out. You worthless federalists! I'm worthless! You don't even know what you want to do with your government! I think that I should calm down. You want rap battle time! Do you want monarchy? No, that's crazy. Do you want more blood just as you need to your head? If you use this head for success, you have to forget about it. This was the land of liberty. This is the land of the free. My, my name is Sam Adams and I'm an anti-federalist. Last thing I want to see is people screaming off with your head. If you don't compromise, just stay in your bed. Uh, ah! Have you read common sense? Because right now you're being the fence. Do you really want success? Because it's such a bloody mess. If you stick in the front of you the government, even McDonald's will say I'm not loving it. Eight, three French is a parade. You know, to paint the streets are out of hand. What happened to our land? Do you want to go back crying to your king? Because if I remember correctly, America threw away his ring. When she rebellion happened, Britain was asking. We had to cooperate before it's too late. This new constitution bill leads to execution. Our rights are not here. Why can you not hear? If you need a bill of rights, it, that's all right. But I know Hamilton just wants to sit on the throne. Who drives on the sun? Listen to me now, there's people fighting in town. You better get a bill of rights. If not, they're going to be the same fights. Free. Wait.
why don't we just add a Bill of Rights to our Constitution, defining the rights of the people in a strong national government? It's that easy. Yes. But wait, what about the slaves? Let's save that for another day. What? If the Federalists and Anti-Federalists actually were political parties. Well, about that, you know how today we have elections mainly by Democrats or Republicans? Yeah. Well, back then it was basically that, but with Feds and Antis. You're kidding. No, not really. Well, don't we see this in modern time? Well, due to the loss of interest in parties, Federalists collapsed after 1815. And what about the Anti-Federalists? Well, they technically disbanded after the War of 1812 and became Democratic Republicans. But didn't the Federalists collapse in 1815? Wasn't there only one political party left? It was the best time ever, guys. Amazing. I might agree with that. <laughs> Show you Bob Hamilton. It was the good feelings era. You know how it feels like to be shot and then have your party disbanded? I'm gonna leave you guys for <laughs> They see me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> rolling. Are you rolling, actually? Yes, I'm rolling. <laughs> Wait, start over, start over, because I was going like this. I was rolling. <laughs> I can cut. I'm rolling. Oh my god. That word in the Roll. Okay. Wait, let's take for the food. Work, work, work. <laughs> <laughs>